In this video, Timmy is going to show you how to enable and use voice typing on your Chromebook so that you can type text on your Chromebook just by talking to it. Before you start using voice typing on your Chromebook, you need to go into the settings and enable voice typing. So you just need to click on the circle in the bottom left hand corner of the screen here to bring up the app launcher and then scroll down in here until you find the settings app and click on the settings app to open that up. And now you need to go down to the accessibility section of the settings app. So if you have this menu on the side here, you can click that and you'll skip straight down to it. But if you don't see that menu, you'll just need to scroll down in here pretty far to almost the bottom until you get to the accessibility section here. And now, you need to click on keyboard and text input in the accessibility section. And in here, there'll be an option called dictation. So now you just need to click on this switch here to enable it. And now what happens next will depend a bit on your language settings. If your Google account language is set to English US or another very common main language like that, the language will hopefully be usable offline. So that means your Chromebook will download some language data, which should really only take a few seconds. On Timmy's Chromebook, it's already finished that in just the time it's taken to say this. And then you'll be able to use voice to text offline. So even if you have no internet connection, you can still type with your voice. But if the language you use on your Google account is not yet able to be downloaded for offline use, you'll get a pop-up message saying that Google will send your voice recordings to Google for processing. And you'll need to click the continue button to proceed. And that means you'll only be able to use voice to text when you have an internet connection. Because whenever you say something, it will have to record your voice and then send it off to Google's data centers to process it and figure out what you said. And then it'll send the text back to your Chromebook with what you said. So it still works perfectly fine. There just might be a slight delay in it and you'll have to be online and your voice will have to be sent to the Google server and back again. And you can also click the change button here next to language if you want to. So if you want to use a language that's not your main Google account language, you can click change and do that. But you probably just want to stick with the language that you use on your Google account anyway. And either way, once you've enabled this and click change or done anything you need to do there, you're ready to start typing with your voice. So now you can just go to anywhere that you can type text on your Chromebook. So this could be a Google Doc or an email in Gmail or a form on a website or something in some other app, anywhere where you can type. For this demonstration, Timmy's just going to close the settings app because we don't need that anymore and pull up Google Chrome with a Google Keep note here. So it doesn't matter where you're typing, it'll all work really the same. And now you have two different ways that you can activate voice typing. The main way would be to click this little microphone button that will now appear on the bottom bar down here since we enabled it. So now you would just make sure your cursor is in here. So you put your cursor here ready to type a note or into a Google Doc or wherever it is. And then click this microphone button and now it will immediately start listening to what you're saying. So as you can see, as Tommy's talking, it's transcribing everything to me saying, and it's going to put it into the keep note as soon as to me stops talking. So you can just keep talking like this to type out as much as you want. And then if to me is quiet for a second, as you can see, it's now put all of that text into the note. So that's how that works. And then when you're ready to stop talking and you don't want it to listen to you anymore, you can come back down here and click on the microphone again. And now it will stop. So because Tamu was narrating the entire process, 
It's added quite a lot of words that you probably don't want, but if you were just being quiet and only saying the words you actually wanted to type, it would work very well. And if you don't want to click the button, there is actually a keyboard shortcut you can use to start voice typing as well. All you need to do is position your cursor once again, so we might just go down a few lines to break it up a bit, and then on your Chromebook, press either the search key or the assistant button key and the letter D at the same time. So we'll press both of those at the same time. And now if we look at the screen, you'll see Timmy's already dictating. So as soon as you press those two keys, it will start listening to everything you're saying. And when you want to stop dictating, you can either come down to the microphone button down here and click that again, or you can actually just wait a second for it to put the final text into the wherever it is. Cancel. So you wait for it to put the rest of it in so it's not holding any text, and then you just say the one word cancel and it will stop listening to you. Or if you don't want to do either of those things, you can actually just wait 20 seconds without saying anything, and then it will give up and assume you're done talking. So there's a few different ways you can stop doing that. And now you can just type text with your voice whenever you want to. And it doesn't have to just be chunky plain text like this. You can also add punctuation marks and spaces and things like that and make it work a lot better. It starts to sound a bit weird when you're saying things like that, but it can actually work very well to type out proper text without it just being a weird chunk. So if we press the keyboard shortcut again to start the dictation, period, new line, new line, Hello, comma, how are you doing, question mark. I hope you're doing well, period. New line, new line. That is all I'm going to say, period. Cancel. So if you think it through like that, and you start adding, you just tell it what you want basically. You can tell it to add a comma or a question mark or go down a new line and add a period and things like that, and it'll all work very well. One thing you might have noticed as Timmy was talking to it there is when you want to add a new line, you have to wait a bit for it. Timmy will show you how that works. So let's say you're talking and you've typed out a bunch of text and then you want to go down a new line you have to wait until it's finished listening to you and it puts all of that text in. Then you can tell it the new command of going down a new line. Otherwise, it'll just type new line. So if we start it again, hello, this is some more text, new line. As you can see, it actually said new line there instead of going down a new line. But if we wait a bit after this, new line. Then it will actually go down a new line. So you have to be a bit careful with it like that. And there's a few things that are a bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of it, it can be really fast to type actually really good text. Looking at this here, it looks pretty much like exactly what to me said. And if you want to get really efficient with it, there's actually a long list of commands like this on Google's Help Center website. So Tamil put a link to that in the video description below if you want to click on that and look at that. Or you can start the dictation and say help. Help. And then it will open that page up in a new tab for you. So you can scroll down here and you can see there's all these commands. So you can say things like select all to highlight all the text and unselect and you can actually tell it to cut, copy, and paste, or delete the previous character, or undo, or redo, or new line, and all of those things like that. So, Timmy's not going to go through all of these here, 
because that would make this video quite long. But if you're typing a big long document and you have a lot of things like this you need to do, you might want to look through here and get a bit familiar with all the different commands you can tell it. And then you can start getting really good at typing with just your voice. And obviously with any voice dictation software, it's not going to be perfect. You will often have to come back in afterwards and make a few adjustments, maybe add a few punctuation marks it missed, or add some new lines, or replace some words with the correct word. But generally, it's a really fast way to get a pretty accurate version of what you wanted to say, without having to type out every letter one by one. But that's all there is to this video, so hopefully you found it helpful, and Tamil see you in the next one.